Hello Clashers, this is JM from the Chicken Nuggets, bringing you our first war recap video. A brief description about the Nuggets. We are a three-star specialist war clan, that wars three times a week, Sundays, Tuesdays and Fridays. We are currently looking to add some new recruits. So if you like our attacks and would like to be part of the Nugget family, visit our website at www.chickennuggetsextra.weebly.com and contact us. On the website you can also check out more Nugget information, our war log, player rankings and helpful videos from all around the Clash community. So here we go. The first war we have for you is the war that just ended against BBND. We ended up tying on stars but we pulled off this win on percentage points, even though we used 5 less attacks. As you can see this clan was able to do work on most of our bases, 3 starring a ton but left some crucial stars on our number 4 drips and our number 8 robs base. As for us, we actually left their number 4 without any stars, but were able to do damage and 3 star most of their town hall 9s in order to get this win by the skin of our teeth. The first attack we have for you today is DJ going in on their number 11. This base has a big open area at the bottom where we can guess he placed many of his traps, and he has multiple rectangular locations around the town hall, where he most likely placed an infamous Tesla farm. So let's see what DJ is able to do with this. He's coming with a Golaloon attack trying to take advantage of the low level air defenses and the fact that this base has Expos set to ground only. He brings in a hog to draw the CC troops, and drops the poison. He doesn't trigger any traps but you best believe that there are sprinkle traps all around this area as this base is frequently seen in the Clash community. He takes down the loons and severely brings down the dragon's health. He starts dropping his kill squad, sprinkling some wizards to create that funnel, so his heroes don't take a walk around the base. Perfect to begin this attack on the right side, he's going to take out the enemy queen, and their defense, an expo, two archer towers and a wiz tower. He drops his hogs to take out the second air defense and immediately drops a heal to keep them alive. He begins his main attack by dropping two hounds on the top air defense and another hound on the bottom air defense. Drops his loons in a clockwise fashion and now it's all about the spell placement. Hounds are able to trigger some air mines. He drops his first rage right on top of that air defense drops his second rage to get those hounds and those balloons to that last air defense as fast as possible. Now all he has to deal with is the Teslas and the lone archer tower. He drops his haste to help those loons as they target the Tesla farm. They go down pretty quickly and that's all she wrote as the lone archer tower goes down. His queen is still up helping to clean up the bottom part of the base. He has plenty of cleanups troops to finish this up and he finishes it up with an unused haste spell. He gets great value from a relatively small kill squad and uses his hog heal combo to perfection. Great attack by DJ, taking advantage of the flaws of this base to get an overpowered 3 star. The next attack we have is Genicus going in on their number 14. And here we go. This base is an underdeveloped Town Hall 9 and again you can see they have their Expos set to ground only, which is too susceptible to air attacks, especially with low level air defenses. So let's see what Ganicus is able to do with this. Ganicus is coming in with a Govalo, I love it. When you see those big square compartments, Especially with those air defenses inside, bringing Vakiris is the way to go. He drops his kill squad with sprinkled wizards to create that funnel. Draws the clan castle troops and drops the poison right on top of them as they start to target his golem. 
drops wall breakers to guide his queen inside the base. Now drops the jump spell to guide his troops into the base. He's letting his king take out some structures and is about to pop his king's ability. Which is perfect as all those defenses were starting to target the king and pop in his ability early maximizes the value. He drops the rage pushing his kill squads into the core of the base. He creates a wide enough funnel for his Valkyries to go into the core. His queen goes for a walk and she's taking damage. He pops her ability and drops a heal spell on her to keep her alive, which was the right move there. He drops a heal on his Valkyries to keep them alive and his golem has the added benefit as they take out the remaining air defenses. He begins his loon deployment in counterclockwise form as the last air defense goes down and all those Valkyries are in full health, completely wrecking this base, with a golem up in front to tank for those Valkyries, there is nothing that can touch them at this point. He has plenty of loons left, that are doing quick work of the remaining structures. As they start crossing the middle of the base they trigger an onslaught of air mines there at the end but it's not enough to stop this 3 star from happening. Great adjustment by Ganicus on healing the queen and that is all she wrote. The last attack we have for you this war is Mr. Rooster going in on their number 17. A relatively decent town hall 8 with some maxed out defenses. Let's see what Mr. Rooster is able to do here. He's coming in with a Draco Loon attack. Pretty common attack strategy for Town Hall 8. But this attack is worth showing as he comes in with a Zap Quag and makes great use of the rage to take out the CC troop. Automatically he drops the Zap and Quag spells on the furthest air defense and doesn't have to worry about that anymore drops a dragon to take out the army camp and guarantees that his dragons won't steer too far to the right. He drops his king on the other side to help create that funnel and pushing his dragons and loon into the core. Once the CC troop comes out, he drops his rage to help his dragons push forward and take out the enemy clan castle troops. His balloons trigger multiple air mines and they take the bulk of that damage, helping to protect the dragons. The town hall goes down and all air defenses have already been destroyed. He's pretty much got the 3 star. He did go against the grain of the air sweeper, but coming in at an angle was the difference maker. No defense strong enough to take out the 7 dragons he has left and just an overpowered attack by Mr. Rooster. Great job buddy. And that wraps up the Nuggets first war recap. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel and visit our website at www.chickennuggetsextra.weebly.com And remember attack swiftly become deadly and stay crispy. Till next time, this is JM signing off.